Good morning. It's early morning uh, on the 10th day of December uh, 2018. And um, I'm glad y'all could come in and see me. Uh, this, uh, this will just take a, a, a little bit of time. It, it isn't going to take too much time, but it's, it, it's kind of it's interesting. I, I just wonder if any of my American friends out there if any of y'all are, are, you got some intelligence to you, uh, you do. Uh, this right here is the, uh, um, this is all, this is the, the, the uh, confirmation, um, the authority to, to sell real property, okay? The petition for authority to sell and for confirmation of sale of real property, 84-754, uh, Ella, Mahaiku Street, number 44B. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, petitioner, a State Administrative Services, LLC Petitioner, hereby petitions this Honorable Court for authority to sell in for confirmation of sale of real property as follows. Okay. I just wanted to, I want to show you, uh, you see the little neon sign sign here? Uh, this is my inheritance. Uh, um, um, by if, if any of y'all just getting in, just coming in, uh, I'm this is about the state of Hawaii uh, taking uh, taking my property as twelve million dollars. <clears throat> I'm an area, and I found out my aunt died. Heck of a way to find out your aunt died is on documentation on this uh, legal jumbo shit. Um, petitioner is duly appointed and acting. I want you to see the conflicting information that's on here. And you see that I, I don't got any money. I got no lawyer, and uh, and it says that you 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 can see it in here. And uh, I just want you to see this, and and you see that these uh, these sales these sales are not right. Yeah, they want 150,000. It says 158,000 uh, required minimum bid. Uh, the offering price is 150,000. Okay, they act like they're going to take that. I show it to you. That where they do take it, but they, nobody signs it. They sign the one for one hundred forty thousand, and they, and it's all initialed all the way a hundred, you know, fifty papers. It's all signed, sealed, and delivered on the nineteenth of October. Okay, and this is a uh, uh, petition of authority, and so he's the uh, petitioner is the duly appointed and acting interim in personal representative of the estate of the above named descendant. Hereafter referred to as the descendant. Okay, pursuant to the order appointing a state administrative service LLC as intern personal representative of the estate filed herein on January 23rd, 2018. On January 23rd, 2018, letters of administration were issued to petitioner as intern personal representative. Two, the petition is brought pursuant to Hawaii Revised Stat Statutes HRS 531-28.5 and 531-29 and Rule 66 through 72 of the Hawaii Probate Rules. Uh, number three, this, this court maintains jurisdiction over this proceeding pursuant <coughs> to HRS 560 uh Double dot one dash three o two four. It says the venue for this proceeding is proper before this court pursuant to HRS five sixty dot dot one dash three o three. All right, and then we got two uh, number two uh, the contested matter involving validity of the will. Okay. Um, on February 27th, uh, 2017, Sherry H. Suckle, that's my aunt, and Lori F. Suckle, that's my cousin, as heirs of the descendant by and through the descendant's paternal grandfather, uh, Max Finn, and paternal grandmother, Fanny Finn, filed a petition for a justification of intensity, appointment of personal representative, and termination of appointment of Teresa M. O. Runnington as special administrator. All right. On April the 10th, 2017, uh, Jessica Lynn Harris. All right. This female has the same last name as the uh, Harris, Mr. Harris. It's uh, running in the cell service, uh, the estate uh, LLC 
administrative services. He's in charge of selling the will or the, um, uh, you know, the um, the state. And he come up with this will, I guess. Uh, Miss Harris, okay, it says Miss Harris filed a petition for probate of will and appointment of personal representative. Miss Harris seeks the admission of to probate of an instrument titled Last Will and Testament of Philip Leo Penn, dated November 28, 2014, called the Will. The termination of the validity of the will, the contested matter, has been assigned to the civil trials calendar pursuant to that order, granting Sherry A. Sukel and Lori F. Sukel petition uh, for reconsideration of the order in one, denying petition number one, petitioner Teresa M. O. Rainington, petition uh, for justification of intensity and appointment of personal representative filed January 26, 2017. Two, denying petition number two. Okay, dash petition for a justification of agency and appointment of personal representative and termination of Teresa M. O. Wrightington as special administrator er, filed on February 27, 2017. And three, granting petition number three, petitioner uh, Jessica Lynn Harris, petition for probate of will and appointment of personal representative termination of appointment of Teresa M. O. Reddington as special administrator filed April the 11th, 2017, filed on July the 24th, 17, filed here in on November the 3rd, 2017, uh, the number November the 3rd, 2017 order. Okay, and this is number eight. On July the 19th, 2018, a motion to enforce settlement term she executed. May 25th, 2018, following meditation, the motion was filed herein. Number nine, the terms of the settlement agreement resolve the issue of the submission of the will to probate, among other things. Ten, on October the 30th, 2018, the court orally granted the motion. See court minutes uh, dated October 20, 2018 at www.huhaki court Hawaii government. Number 11, further proceedings are contemplated herein, including a petition for determination of errors. Okay, this court has uh, retained jurisdiction of all other matters aside in part from the contested matter. See November 3rd, 2017, order at uh, 4. Okay, this is number 13, and an investigation of the identities of the descendant, uh, descendant's heirs at law has been concluded, and the heirs' identities are believed to be known and are listed herein below. Heirs on, on the maternal uh, side of the descendants' family have retained local councils of Cassidy's Shuttle Shuttle Law Firm, who filed notice of appearance of counsel and demand for notice herein on August 6, 2018. Sherry Sukel, now deceased, I found out, this is how I found out my aunt died like this, just recently, just now. It hadn't been, uh, God, just now, uh, oh, I, she was alive, okay? And Laura, and Laura Sukel, I thought I'd get to go out there and see her. Her daughter are represented by the McCorrison Law Firm. Uh, due to Miss Sukel's death, a personal representative for her state needs to be appointed to represent her interests. Errors Mitchell Aronov and Michelle Lynn Frady are unrepresentative herein. I don't have a lawyer. I can't get one. The guy got all sewed up uh, and broke. A petitioner has determined that the estate may be exposed to federal and Hawaii state taxes, penalties, and interest if the will is deemed to be invalid. On the other hand, if the will whose residentary uh, beneficiary is a charitable trust and foundation, is admitted to probate, the estate may be entitled to claim the unlimited charitable deduction from the state tax. 16. Petitioner believes that in the best interest of the estate to pay federal and away estate taxes as soon as practical, uh, to stop the accrual of interest on the underpayment of tax, and to later seek a response should the will be admitted for probate and the estate entitled to claim the unlimited charitable deduction. It is necessary to liquidate real property of the estate in order to generate sufficient liquidity to pay taxes and expenses of administration. Although a petitioner maintains a sizable operating account to pay expenses, it is insufficient to pay estate taxes, penalties, and interest. 
protein. It is also necessary that desirable uh, to liquidate real property to, of the estate in order to diversify the estate's portfolio, which is invested in Hawaii real estate, and aside from the operating account, nothing else. Relative to the size of the estate, petitioner maintains an operating account with cash. It is also necessary to liquidate real property for the purpose of preparing the estate for cash distributed to the many heirs, uh, subject to the complete resolution of the contested matter. There, there's nine of, or there's eight of us now. In my aunt's not, uh, she's not there anymore. Okay, so petitioner intends to. Uh, uh, prudently invest any sales proceeds generated in the excess of expected taxes and expenses liabilities of the estate should that appear re uh, reasonable given the expected duration of the estate administration. Otherwise, assets will likely remain in cash to provide liquidity to pay taxes and expenses of administration and prepare for distribution. Authority to sell and confirmation of sale of real property is in turn personal representative petitioner is empowered to sell real property pursuant to HRS 560-3-715 subject to HRS 531-28.5 and 531-29. All right, pursuant to the HRS 531-28. Point five, petitioner must seek authority to sell real property. If required by the descendant's will or if demanded by the vice in the state probate proceeding or by an heir in an interstate probate proceeding, the personal representative guardian shall present to the court having jurisdiction of the state a petition setting forth the conditions of the estate and the facts and circumstances tending to show the necessity of uh, or expect this expediency of the sale of real property. If it appears to the court either that it is necessary or that it would be advisable and for the benefit of the estate that the real property or any part thereof be sold and that sufficient notice of the proposed sale has been given to the interested persons as defined in section 560.1-201. The court may authorize the personal representative or guardian to sell the real property either at a private sale or a public auction on such terms as the court shall order. Article 4.05-3, okay, of the will arguably authorizes petitioner to sell real property. But as noted above, the validity of the will has yet to be determined pending the final resolution of the contested matter. According, accordingly, the petitioner must seek the waiver of the will proponents, um, Ms. Harris, and all heirs of the estate of, to the right to demand that petitioner seek court authorization to sell real property. Because the contested matter has not been completely resolved, and because an order determining heirs has not yet been issued by the court, petitioner believes that it is prudent if not required to seek court authority to sell real property pursuant to HRS 531-28-25. At the time of his death, the descendant held a fee simple interest in a certain real property located at 84-754 Ala Malahakua Street, number 44B, Hawaii, 96792 in the condominium project known as Makahaya Valley Plantation, more particularly identified in, as tax map key number uh, blah blah, and for more particularly described in Exhibit 1, attached here in 2, and by reference made a part here of the property. Okay, an offer to purchase the property has been received by the petitioner from blank, with title to be vested in her the buyer for the sum of one hundred and fifty thousand and no one hundred dollars, and then they got one hundred and fifty thousand by the way of initial cash deposit in the amount of forty two thousand uh and the balance by way of new conventional loan from the lender of a buyer's choice at prevailing rates and terms. Time is of the essence, okay, copies of the counter offer purchase contract as is condition and interim lead based paint disclosure at the interim court confirmation sale standard interim and personal representative sale and interim. Collectively, the purchaser contract are attached here to as Exhibit 2. 
The property was appraised for $140,000 on the, as of the descendant's death, uh, uh, um, date of death on December 28, 2016, and for $160,000 as of September 5, 2018. True and correct copies of the appraisals will be filed herein under a separate cover. Okay, certain expenses will be incurred in connection with the said sale, including realtors, commission, conveyance tax, attorney fees, and other expenses incurred by the petitioner herein. Okay, 30. Petitioner requested all expenses of the sale, including but not limited to realtors, commissions, and paying tax, attorney fees, and other expenses be allowed to be paid from escrow. Uh, the name and address of the persons entitled to notice uh, of this it, it for, uh, proceeding are... And then you've got the, uh, um, well, you've got the buyer, and there's the buyer. I'll cover, I'll cover her name up, and there's the buyer. And then we got, the, um, we got Jessica. she got Jessica Lynn Harris there. You see that? Uh, nominated personal representative under, um, under last will and testament, uh, dated November the 22nd, 2014. Okay, and then you got there, there's my aunt right there. You can see that. I don't know if you can see that or not. Oh, let me show you that. And, uh, right there. Yeah, you see that? Okay, uh, Sherry, uh, Suko, and there again, and right there, you see that? Okay, now deceased. That's how I found out. When I looked, I kept looking at it, and I said, oh, dude. And see, uh, um, let's see what I do. Right there, I am, if you see. That's me, right there. Okay, and, uh, I'm right there, and there's my sister, okay, there's me, and, uh, and, and it goes on, and it's got the, uh, and it's got the maternal side, uh, you know, all this, and um, it, it's an heir at law to descend his father, Nathan Finn, deceased, and then, and then there's the end of it, it's got Teresa M. writing to a uh, former special administrator, okay, wherefore petitioner prays that the court Find that the jurisdiction and venue are proper. Set a date, time, and place of hearing of said petition. Authorize petitioner to sell the arms permission property upon a day uh, upon a day appointing to uh, for hearing of the petition, confirming the for said sale of the uh, arms permission buyer for the price of one hundred and fifty thousand. Now look at this. Listen to this here. Upon such confirmation, authorize and direct petitioner to make, execute, and deliver all necessary documents. To convey said property to the buyer upon receipt of full price purchase price. Okay, authorized petitioner to pay out of the proceeds of the sale, expenses, sales, during petitioner, including builders, commission, sale, convenience tax, attorney fees, and other expenses. Require that the notice of the hearing of the petition be posted on the bulletin board of the courthouse, but waive notice in the newspaper publication. Find that there is no just reason for delay and that the order being final to all persons and the issues in the courts considered might have been considered incident or petition and fully addresses all claims raised in said petition, but to enter pursuant to Rule 34A of the Hawaii Probate Rules in the manner provided by Rules 34B and 58 of the Hawaii Rules of Civil Procedure and grant such other relief as may be appropriate. Okay, and then this, if you see it says underneath, uh, underneath the note for affirmation, okay? Now here's where, here's where it is, and this has got to do with what it is, uh, how, what the property is, and, uh, you know, the, the, uh, all the, the stuff here. Okay, now here, look, this is right here. This is, well, this is, it's, it's the counter offer right here, okay? Now, see, the date on this thing is, um, uh, the date on this is, um, uh, October, if you look at that, it says October the 24th, <coughs> And, but she didn't sign it, okay? And this is the one, $1,000 down, uh, and then $41,000 down um, before you, your class, your uh, total cash, $42,000 total cash funds from buyer, <coughs> exclusive of closing costs. And then $108,000 by way of a new uh, conventional loan from a legal uh, lender of the buyer's uh, choice at prevailing rates. Okay, it says $150,000. Uh, right there, the hundred and fifty thousand dollars. If you can see that, hundred and fifty thousand dollars, right there. Okay. Now, okay, we keep going on this thing. Now, of course, she didn't sign that, and that's October twenty-fourth. He got there, and October twenty-fifth, he got there, and uh, there is the uh, the man. There's the man. It's uh, there's the man with the plan. He's the one that's selling all the properties uh, and working uh, uh, um, working for the court system, I guess, or whatever. However they 
I thought maybe she had a sister, but I'm not sure. I can't remember. I mean, see, we've been, our family's been scattered all over the place, but uh, uh, I appreciate y'all coming in. You can write me today. Mitchell Air No Senior, 301 Harbor Valley Road, Tacoma, Georgia, 30577. Write me today. Tell me what's on your mind, and I'll tell you what's on mine, okay? Uh, Lisa's Grandbaby Law. Don't forget about the Lisa's Grandbaby Law. We need to get it out there and get it passed. Uh, get it looked at anyway. Let's get it passed, man. Let it make me president, I'll pass. I'll pass it on through. I'll let, it, I'll let everybody out of jail that's been screwed over because he's private prison. They're trying to fill him up, and I don't like that. I don't like anybody making money. I don't want to dig into the core. Let's wait till the moon down. Uh, you know, let's do it. Let's, let's get this place rocking and roll it. I'll do it. Uh, you know, hey, man, you get me as president. And I'll, I'll show you how to make. I'll show you how to get this country going, get it again. Okay, come on back and see me then. Bye bye.